The opportunity to work with our residents is one of the greatest thrills of my career. It's an incredible thing to work with young people who are sincere, hardworking, brilliant, and looking to both master the field and to advance it. It is a very rigorous training program, and I imagine that we're going to be caring for a lot of, uh, you know, very sick patients and very uh, complex, um, uh, you know, neurosurgical pathology, and and I'm sure that's going to be very challenging and very rewarding um, at the same time. You know, we get excited about um, interesting patients, interesting cases, um, operating with our attendings, but I think part of residency is also learning how to pick yourself back up after the patients that we couldn't help or couldn't save and be able to move on to the next patient and do the best you can to help the next patient. And those are really important moments where um, you're really honed as a physician, learning how to work under pressure. And of course, you always do this with the support of the chief residents and, and your colleagues around you. So uh, it's, it's always a well-supported environment. Every attending here um, is so welcoming uh, and so inviting. And uh, you really, they, they don't mind uh, sort of uh, letting you see their human side. Dr. Weingart invites all of us over um, for Thanksgiving and we have uh, fried turkeys with him and it's just an absolute amazing time. Uh, you get to kind of see him in a more fun, playful mood uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, uh, you, know, you don't usually get to see in, in the hospital and it's, it's absolutely a blast. Usually Dr. Brem um, has a pool party for the entire department and uh, one of the super nice moments is where the entire department gathers around the pool and there's uh, an amazing you know, picture and every year you get to see everybody in the department and how they progress through. It's a wonderful social setting. The sense of community within the department and even in Baltimore and in the hospital uh, has, was one of the, the strongest driving factors to me wanting to stay here. There's a sense of family in this department. I l really love the diversity of this program, um, the diversity of uh, Johns Hopkins University, the hospital. Uh, we have tons of international medical graduates as well as uh, racially very diverse people. Coming to Baltimore I think has been really refreshing. It's a real city. There's a ton of things to do. There are great restaurants. Um, it's super affordable. Many of us have bought houses and you know how many people can say yes. that they at our stage can buy a house you know in a big East Coast city. I've been really surprised at how diverse um, the options are to sort of you know, live your life, whether it's you know, down in the water, out in the suburbs, or in a place like Canton that has like, this incredible neighborhood feel. So there really is a little bit of something for everybody. Training at Johns Hopkins, and particularly in being a resident at Johns Hopkins Neurosurgery, is a spectacular opportunity, and it is amazing to see what people make of that opportunity. Having our program director be so approachable helps us to putting together our ideas and voicing small or big things that we think we can, we can yeah. express to change yeah. or improve the program. And I feel that that opportunity is unique. I think you're surrounded by people who are um, just about the best at, at what they do and that inspires you to try to be your own personal best and, and that definitely is very inspiring. My goal is to train someone who is going to be a better neurosurgeon than I am. And that's also a very rewarding part of the process is to be able to allow them to have the success so that they can really push the field forward and, and, and make things better in the future.